Hello everyone, and welcome to A Fistful of Dice. I think this is the seventh episode of uh, my Hearst Arts videos. Um, I'm all done priming. This took forever. Uh, I did all the walls, all the features I've been doing, all the floors, everything. Did my little fireplace, which I put a little adornment on there, a little lion face. I thought that looked really cool. Um, and I've also started uh, putting together the accessories from the accessory mold. So, like, here's a little fountain that I made. <clears throat> some doors, a bridge. So, lots of cool stuff. Some little crystal clusters. But um, the real point of this video is I want to show you um, the dry brushing. And... Uh, Dry brushing is a technique that um, actually my dad taught me how to do when I was pretty young when we used to do terrain um, for our Mage Knight miniatures. We used to play Mage Knight. So this is just um, one coat of dry brush. It's uh, a dark gray uh, apple barrel acrylic. It's uh, pewter, actually. Um, I'm going to be doing multiple dry brush coats, but this is just the first one. And you see how it just picks up all the little raised surfaces and details while keeping the sort of the cracks and, and things like that, um, the dark from the black. So it really just makes these things pop. Um, and here's the first one I did to test the amount of paint I had on my brush. I actually made this a little bit too gray. I had too much paint on the brush. So, But um, what you do with dry brushing is you get your floor tile here. And it's going to be kind of tough because I'm doing this one hand. And uh, you, you want to use a brush that you're not going to want to keep nice because... Um, Dry brushing is pretty hard on brushes, it tends to fray them. You can tell I've done a lot of dry brushing with this brush. So, um, But what you do is you just put a little bit of paint on the brush and then you almost, you want to just brush it on a paper towel or something and get almost all of the paint out of it. So you can see there's just the barest amount of paint on there. And then you just, this actually needs a little bit more paint so I'm going to get a little bit of paint and then just you just get all that paint off of there on the paper towel. Sorry this is hard to do with one hand. You don't want any sort of like uh, globs of paint in there so that seems pretty good. So you're just gonna barely and it just kind of catches on the little raised surfaces. You see how it And the, um, you don't really notice when um, you cast these cracked tiles, but they've actually got kind of a, uh, almost like a dimpled effect to them, if you see that. With little pockets and indents and stuff, so this dry brushing technique really brings out those details and just makes them look fantastic. And you'll see that even though I'm not using the the darkest gray paint. Um, it looks pretty dark because of the black that's behind it. So, and we're going to do the sides as well, but <clears throat> I'll do that when I'm not holding a camera in my hand. So, this project is nearing its completion. I'm very excited. Um, this has been a lot of fun, but it's also been a lot of work, and I'm excited to uh, take a break from casting and painting for a while and actually <laughs> use these things in a game. So. Anyway guys, just a quick update on that project, and um, my next video might be everything finished. We'll see. Alright, take care everybody. Happy gaming.